Our lesson for today is about subtraction with regrouping in hundreds and tens. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to use base 10 blocks to subtract numbers with regrouping in hundreds and tens. Subtract from three digit numbers with regrouping in hundreds and tens. Apply the inverse operation of subtraction and addition. Let's recall. What is 41 minus 9? Forty one minus nine is equal to thirty two. Let us check if the answer is correct by using mental strategy with number bond. Let us split forty one into ten and thirty one such that when we subtract nine from ten, we get one. Then we will add thirty one and one to get thirty two. Let us check it again by using place value chart and base 10 blocks. 41 has 4 tens, 1 1. 9 has 9 ones. Subtract 9 ones from 1 1. Since 1 1 is less than 9 ones, we need to regroup 1 10 into 10 ones to make 11 ones. Let us subtract 9 ones from 11 ones. So, when we subtract 9 from 41, 32 will be left. Let us check it again by subtracting these numbers in vertical form. Make sure that the numbers are aligned correctly before subtracting. Let us subtract from right to left. Subtract the ones. Since 1 is less than 9, we need to regroup the tens and ones. We will take 1 ten from 4, making it 3. Then we will regroup 1 10 into 10 ones and add it to 1 to make it 11. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. Bring down 3. So 41 minus 9 is equal to 32. We can also check if the answer is correct. By working backwards, we just need to add the difference to its subtrahend. 2 plus 9 is equal to 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Let's discuss. What is 115 minus 70? Let us find out the answer by using mental strategy with number bonds. Let us split 115 into 115 such that when we subtract 70 from 100, we get 30. Then we will add 15 and 30 to get 45. Subtract 172 from 317. Let us use place value chart and base 10 blocks. Let us show the base 10 blocks for the greater number which is 317 in the place value chart. 317 has 300s. 110. 7 ones. We will then subtract 172 from this set of base 10 blocks. 
172 has 100 7 tens 2 ones Subtract 2 ones from 7 ones Subtract 7 tens from 1 ten Since 1 ten is less than 7 tens we need to regroup 100 into 10 tens to make 11 tens. Subtract 7 tens from 11 tens. Subtract 100 from 200. So, when we subtract 172 from 317, 145 will be left. Let us subtract the numbers again in vertical form. Make sure that the numbers are aligned correctly before subtracting. Let us subtract from right to left. Subtract the ones. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Subtract the tens. Since 1 is less than 7, we need to regroup the hundreds and tens. Let us take 100 from 3, making it 2. Then we will regroup 100 to 10 tens and add it to 1 to make it 11. 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. Subtract the hundreds. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, 317 minus 172 is equal to 145. We can check if the answer is correct by working backwards. We just need to add the difference to its subtrahend. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3. It's quiz time! Subtract 285 from 749. Seven hundred and forty nine minus two hundred and eighty five is equal to subtract three hundred and sixty seven from six hundred and eight. Six hundred and eight minus three hundred and sixty seven is equal to subtract two hundred and sixty seven from six hundred and forty seven. Six hundred and forty seven minus two hundred and sixty seven is equal to subtract eight hundred and twenty four from nine hundred and fifteen. Nine hundred and fifteen minus eight hundred and twenty four is equal to subtract.
Subtract 154 from 336. Three hundred and thirty six minus one hundred and fifty four is equal to three hundred and fifty four. Awesome kids, you've done a great job. For more practice, click the link in the description box below. That's all for today, kids. Always remember, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Keep on learning.